Yo, what's up guys, Taco Man here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys which fruit is better, the vampire fruit or gear five. They are both good fruits, and uh, I'm curious which one's gonna be on top. But before you get into the video, if you guys are into my channel and wanna see more content like this, you guys already know what to do, subscribe guys and turn on that bell. And if you guys haven't joined my district yet, join it. I'm giving away a vampire fruit in there, a Helsing, over 5,000 Robux, if you guys want to join all that, I'll put the Discord link in the description comments below. So join that giveaway before it ends. And for those who don't know yet, the trailer for my game, Anime Spirits, just released. There's a bunch of cool stuff in it. If you guys want to go check it out, it will be in the description and comments below. I'll also put it on the top right. But other than that, guys, let's get straight into this video. So, okay, first, we're going to be seeing which one is stronger. And we're going to be testing that out at the Pika Dungeon. But before we do all that, let me show you guys my stats. As you can see, I got max stats, 9,400 on everything. And then I also have all these fruit accessories with the King of the Beast title. We have all this because we're going to be showcasing the damage with everything on. So we see with its max potential. And we also got it upgraded max through the blacksmith as well. And here it is, just to show you guys. Alright, as you can see, we go to him. Vampire fruit is fully maxed. And here's the rubber fruit. Also fully maxed, as you can see. So now guys, let's go to that Pika dungeon and let's do this. All right guys, let's go. All right guys, we're now in the dungeon and uh, we're gonna be starting off with the vampire fruit. So let's go put on all these modes. Gojo Limitless, Electro Sulong with Armament Hockey, and the Hawk guys. And of course, we're gonna be going full form. All right, let's go do this, guys. So our M1s, they do about 200 million. Then our Q move. A billion, 300 million. And then our E. That, uh, that was about, that was about a billion, 500,000. And this R move, this one's hard to count. So just look at the health, our R. There's about, yeah, look at that. Oh, that did like half of its health. And then our F move, this is about 2 billion, 200 million. And then our G move, the last one, this is about a billion, 700 million. And yeah, that is the vampire damage showcase. I'll show on the screen how much damage it did total. Now let's go see how strong this gear 5 is, but first let's go finish him off. Alright guys, let's go gear 5th. So our Q move, it does about 900 million. Our E, that's like a billion. Our R, 970 million. And our G move, it is just about a billion, 800 million. And all right, that is a full damage for gear five. I'll add up all the damage on the screen. So yeah, just from that, Vampire is way stronger than Gear 5. But now guys, we gotta go see which one's better for grinding. And for that, we're gonna go into second seat with our prison. So let's go ahead there. But first, let's defeat this person. All right, let's go. All right guys, we're now at Udon prison and now let's go test out the cooldowns. And first, we're gonna be doing the Vampire. And for this, of course, we're gonna be going full mode since this one has all the moves. And let's go test it. So our M1s, of course, are like one second long. The Q move though, let's see. Starting now one, two, three, four, five, six, about six seconds. The E move, one, two, three, four, five, six, six seconds too. Then the R, one, two, 
three, four, five, about five to six seconds. Then the F, one, two, three, four, five, six, six seconds. Then for the G move, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seconds. And yeah, those are pretty much all the attacks cooldown. These ones are just your modes, so these don't really matter. Now let's go see gear fives. All right, we're in gear fifth. So the Q moves cooldown is one, two, three, four, five, five seconds. The E, one, two, three, four, five, five seconds. The R, one, two, three, four, five, five seconds to the F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seconds. So the school down for Bowser Gun is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine seconds. Last but not least, guys, Cloud Fly. Let's see. One, about one second. So yeah, cooldowns, they seem pretty even. It's not like a major difference. It's about the same level. So the winner for cooldown is no one, it's a tie. But now guys, let's go see which one has a better cooldown. So okay, this is how we test the cooldown guys. You guys see the tree right here? If he kills everyone around this first tree area, that is good AOE, and that second tree right there, because anyone in front of that second tree and up to here, that is an even better AoE. And if it goes behind that second tree, that's some huge AoE. So yeah guys, that's how we test this. So okay, M1s, these, they of course, they don't reach far. But the Q move, let's see. That was, that was bad. Look at all the NPCs left here still. But the E move, that one is also bad. And now for the R move, the bloodshed. That is also bad. Look at all those NPCs left. And now for the F move. That one's a bit better, so that one's good. But now for the G, let's see. Yeah, Vampire sucks for granted. So AoE is really bad. Okay, let's go see gear fives. Okay. So all right, we have gear five now. Let's go see the AoE for the Q move. That one is good AoE. Look at that. Then the E moves AoE, let's see. Okay, that one's bad. And now for the R move, let's see. That is, that's good AoE. And the last attack, let's go see. Yeah, that is huge AoE guys, look at that. Behind that second tree, there's a few that died and look at that, that's, a, that's huge AoE right there. And yeah, that is AoE for Gear 5, and the winner for AoE is, of course, Gear 5 itself. And now, guys, let's go talk about which fruit is easier to obtain. First off, with Vampire Fruit, anyone can get this. You could get it at First Sea, and all you need to do is go to the New Island in First Sea, which is called the Dracula's Domain, and there's an NPC there that can give you the vampire fruit if you have these certain requirements. First, you're gonna need this title right here, guys. All the way down. Blood Scourge. It's red, so this is a really rare title, and it says you also need to slay 200 vampires, 
And the last thing that you need is the vampire spirit item that you can get from the Dracula raid. So yeah, all that stuff is what you need to get this vampire fruit. But for gear five on the other hand, it's a bunch of stuff. You're gonna have to be able to go to second C. You're gonna need some gems. You're gonna need gear two, gear four. You're gonna need all that stuff. It's a long process to get gear five. In my opinion, the most easiest one to obtain would be ha would have to be the vampire fruit. And all right, now I'm gonna reveal the overall winner. So in my opinion, the overall winner would have to be gear five. I say that because it has good cooldowns, it has good AOE, meaning it's good for grinding, and you also have those other abilities that give you flight, you can travel fast, you have a healing move, and it's good for any type of dungeon too. Overall winner would be gear 5. But let me know what you guys think, let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's pretty much the video right there. If you guys find this video helpful, do drop a like guys, subscribe. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a good day. Enjoy the update, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.